some it's penis envy. That's all. That's what all <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. I went to Catholic school, but still, I learned about sex in the schoolyard. I mean, you know how kids would run up and they, you know, they tell you things, you know, and then they'd make up these rhymes and even yeah. make up songs about it and stuff. I can remember being eight or nine years old, and one of the songs we used to sing was. Nothing would be finer than your no. dick up my vagina. And that's how I heard about intercourse. <laughs> my mom gave me a book that explained <laughs> reproduction, but not the act. Uh, it's like, yeah, the sperm and the egg get together. But how? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you want to know what my mother told me? She said, first you fall in love, then you get married, and then, you know, after you really love the guy, you lay very close together. <laughs> So I'm thinking, I mean, what, what does it go through your skin? <laughs> Do you know for five years that I wouldn't lay next to a guy because I thought I'd get pregnant? Oh, uh, you know, oh, isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing is, my mother, she never, you know, she never talked about sex. She said she knew I had figured it out when I stopped reading the Archies and started reading Cosmopolitan. <laughs> Yeah, well, my mom never told me anything about sex, not even about my period. You didn't read the books? My sister told me about it. Well, I learned it about school. I mean, you know, remember when they stick girls in one gym, they stick the guys in the other gym, and they show you those movies? Oh, yeah. those movies. Yeah. Those things yeah. are classic. Yeah. I mean, they're years so old. scientific. You know, they're just so scientific. They don't teach you that sex can be fun. You know, you never know that it can be fun. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> They never tell you that it's fun because they're afraid you're going to run right out and do it. Yeah, but you do it anyway. Yeah, and then you do it wrong because you don't talk about it to the person you're doing it with. I've never met a man who thought he did it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so ridiculous. They never even discuss the parts you're going to have to deal with the rest of your life. That's because it's dirty. <laughs> I don't think they want to teach you anything. They just have to. Yeah. I know, but you know, it's like my mother, she never talked about sex. She never dealt with it. I don't think she even had sex. <laughs> well, she had it at least once. One time she had it. She had me. But um, she just never said anything about it. And one day she just walks into my room out the clear blue and she says, Do you have any questions? <laughs> Do I have any questions? Questions about what? You know? I wanted to say, Yeah, Ma. Does. Given a blowjob mean you really have to blow? <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I got a late notice in the mail on our loan I took out for you. Oh, don't worry about it. I took care of it, baby. If you don't keep up on the payments, it could ruin my credit. Honey, I'm really sorry. I've just been so busy, you know, organizing the party tonight, putting together this book, shooting a video. It just slipped my mind. It won't happen again. Okay? Carl coming? He better. The whole party's an excuse to get him to finance the book. I finance the book. How come I don't get a party? You finance the limited edition printing. Carl is the owner of Morgan Publishing. They can bankroll the book and the video, and they make it go national, and we make millions. That's why he got a party. Besides, you already got a party. A private party. Hey, where are you going anyway? Aren't you off today? I am. I'm doing Joan a favor. It's nothing. No, I wanted Gotta to go. talk. I'm late. I'm afraid to tell him. You know, I tried to tell him this morning, and I have tried to tell him for weeks. I don't have to tell him. Why should I have to tell him? I know I should tell him. Oh. I agree. Yeah, about which one? What are you talking about? That I should tell him or that I don't have to tell him? What do you think? I don't know. Oh, God, I... I think I'll tell him tonight, all right? Good. Our time's about up. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that lunch with Larry show today. Do you know what lunch with Larry is? It's a radio interview show. Yeah, of a type, but he's extremely vulgar. And he said we need the publicity. He makes all his guests look stupid. Good luck, Michael. You're gonna need it. Can't be that bad. Hey, it's lunch with Larry. Hey, it's me again. It's Larry. You're my school midway. Your neighbor with a new hour. So grab those paper bags and pop that Tupperware and listen up because our live in studio guest today is author and psychologist Michael Calumbo. Still bothers me, Doctor. Columbus. Michael Columbus. <laughs> Michael Columbus. <laughs> well, uh, it looks like America's about to discover you, huh? Eh? <laughs> it's because you've just written a new self-help book called Are you ready for this? Talking about Sex City. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your condoms. Now what's the book about, Doc? Keep it simple, Michael. Keep it simple. Well, technically, it's about overcoming intimacy dysfunction through assertive transpersonal communication. <laughs> Shit. By talking about your most intimate sexual desires and problems, you begin to confront other, deeper personal problems. Uh, well, what do you think about that, Mr. President? I'm not a crook. But this is important. I've written something in People need to be more frank about their sex lives. Everyone assumes that everything is perfect. If people would ask their lovers or husbands or wives, when we make love, would you prefer something different? You'd be amazed at the answers you get. There's so much confusion Yo, and misinformation. Bro, bro, hey, it's time to pay the bills. Hey. Look, there's so much confusion and misinformation. Yeah, 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 talk about sex no, everyone assumes that everything is perfect. Fallation. And by dealing with these taboo the subjects, people will be able to help that, themselves that, 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 in their relationships. Get it up or you get it out, okay, Doc? We don't want all that psychological babble. Shut up for a minute, will you please? Damn it! You're so rude. Why don't you listen a little bit? Damn it! Michael, just calm down, okay? 
I wrote a serious book and he ridiculed me. He wouldn't have done that to someone famous. Well, you're not famous. I could be. I could be as famous as, as, as what's her name. Yeah, oh, what's her name is real famous. Now, Michael, get a grip, all right? I need you in one piece emotionally tonight. We've been working on this for a year, and tonight, tonight, we pitched a Carl. You don't think he heard me on that show, do you? Oh, no. Uh, Carl wouldn't listen to a show like that. He's too classy. Hold on. Andy. Carl! Larry made your boy sound like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, okay? Michael? Yeah? Yeah, I gotta go, all right? I'll see you tonight. Okay. Oh. Andy, hi there. How's my favorite book, Doctor? Oh, I'm so busy. Did you read the book? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, what'd you think? We'll talk about it tonight. I called about something else. What? It's Joan. Andy. Something's wrong, I don't know. Ever since she started therapy with Michael, she's different. Isn't that the point of therapy? Oh, I know that. But you guys are friends, you talk. What's going on with her? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? I'll see you tonight. Feel a white light surrounding you. <laughs> Whatever it is that you're feeling, just let it go. <laughs> No. If he can't get the color right, tell him I'll cancel the entire order. You got that? Okay, no problem. Watch your hand. One last push here. No problem. Get it. All right. Perfect. Damn it. It still doesn't fit right. Joan, you take clothes too seriously. Are you kidding? Without people like me, the women of America would all go naked from the waist up. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Especially if they all look like Rachel, right? Who's Rachel? <laughs> Why don't you go have lunch? I'm not hungry. Go have lunch. Oh, I'll just go get something. No problem. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? I've just seen how you look at her. Everyone looks at Rachel like that. Besides, she's Andy's best friend, and I would never... Oh, no. No. <laughs> Doug, how long have we known each other? Twelve years. Long enough to give you some advice. You should marry Andy. <sighs> Come on. Why not? You've been seeing each other for over a year. I'll tell you why. I have this nightmare. I've just gotten married, and right afterwards at the reception, I see this mysterious and hauntingly beautiful stranger who I immediately know is the perfect woman for me. But I'm stuck. Now, Andy, she thinks I'm afraid of commitment, but I'm not afraid of commitment. I'm afraid of committing to the wrong person. Two months later, he calls me. It's midnight. He wakes me up. Well, I gave him a piece of my mind. I hope that's all you gave him a piece of. Well, he had the nerve to say he wanted to come over. Rachel, I know you did not let him come over. Well, he sounded lonely. Then he sneaks out in the morning. He doesn't even say goodbye. Honey, you have got to stop letting these bastards take advantage of you. I mean, why don't you ever go out with nice guys? I mean, you have Doug. He's a nice guy, and he's gorgeous. You have to stop doing this to yourself. Andy, please. This is amazing. Look at this. I mean, you plant these little seeds, and, and you talk to them, and you water them, and you love them, and, and you have this beautiful tomato. I mean, you grew this. And this... this... 
What is this? Jicama. Hi, Lou. It's like a potato with no taste. I hate them. Lou, have you been listening in on our conversation? Of course not. <laughs> what do you think? I'm some kind of nosy, eavesdropping Budinsky? That guy that calls you in the middle of the night? Dump him. Uh, um, I gotta get going. Uh, otherwise, I'll be never be ready for the party. Um, nice to meet you. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. No, ah, uh, don't do that. They're for the party tonight. Is the sex doctor gonna be there? Yes, it's for his book. I didn't get an invitation. Well, I didn't think you'd be interested. It's just a business party. You know, there'll be a house full of writers, editors, literary types. You know, intellectuals. And what am I, a dummy? <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Have you met my grandson? Matthew, come over here. We've just been invited to a party. Grandpa. My grandson, Matthew. This is Andy. He's single. Say something. It'll be an hour before I finish. I mean to her, not to me. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, nice meeting you. Well, uh, I've got to get back to work. He makes a lot of money. Andy, uh, your boyfriend. Are you engaged to him yet? No, Lou. Not yet. A nice girl like you should be married. Dampo. I was raised to be a virgin and get married. It was the whole thing was that you weren't complete without a man. And now, you know, I just don't know if I want to get married. I mean, you have to answer to somebody. I really like being single. I really do. Are you still a virgin? No. <laughs> No, no, kill my mama, that's for sure. <laughs> no, they, they probably still think I am. <laughs> Even though it doesn't suit all my needs, I still prefer to be married. Well, what do you mean all your needs? Well, it, it doesn't suit the things I want to do, impulsive things I want to do. It doesn't suit... My husband doesn't have the same needs as me, basically. Mm -hmm. That's what it boils down to. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah I have a different... Me, I, I need to do else. things that he doesn't want to do. Sexual things. Guys, that that weird? Weird? Yeah. Well, I got to be about 30, and I still wasn't married. and So I started thinking, well, maybe I should start looking around. And so I went shopping. I went shopping, and there was nothing. I mean, there, I couldn't even find somebody I wanted to date, much less to marry. So I just said, fuck it. I'm going to go out and have a good time. I gave up on the whole thing. And that's when I met him. That's that that's, instant yeah. when I just Always forgot happens. about everything. I relaxed yeah. and I it met the right man. You know, men can tell that. It's like women have an antenna or something. <laughs> <laughs> and when, when they want to get married, when, when they want to get married, I mean, it just shows. Yeah. The neediness. The, uh, yeah. You can't get away. Yeah. Needy, yeah. Needy. What's the matter, Andy? I worked my ass off to become a successful editor. And now that I have that, I just, I just want a husband, a child, and some security. A lot of women feel that way. And why do I feel like there's something wrong with it? Mm. Doug? Yeah? I think we should get married. <laughs> Isn't this a little sudden? We're practically living together, why not? Well, because I'm happy the way things are, aren't you? No, I'm not. So what you're saying is that having a piece of paper would make you happy. It's just a piece of paper. It's not that important. Well, if it's just a piece of paper and it's not that important, then let me have it. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with trying to move this relationship to the next level. The next level? What the hell does that mean? What level are we on now? The mezzanine? Just forget it, Doug. Look, look, honey, I'm committed to you, I love you, what? and that's... When people get married, they get stupid. 
Like what? Well, they start calling each other those strange names. You know, Honey Bun, Pumpkin, Poopy Doll. Poopy Doll? When have I ever called you Poopy Doll? I don't know. It's... I don't know. Maybe Look, it's... You say you're happy the way things are, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think if I was really happy, it wouldn't matter to me that you didn't want to get married. Well, um... Because is... if I'm going to have a family, I know that I want it to be with you. But, I mean, if we can't even decide whether or not we should be married, I mean, what is the point of all this? Okay. Um, th um, I've been th thinking ab about this. You are? Yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking about it, uh, yes. It's been going through my mind. Uh, why not? Why not? <laughs> what's this? I mean it. What's next? You are so what's so, what, what so funny? What's so funny? <laughs> you don't know what's next. You propose. Oh, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Wait a second. What I mean is I'd like to live together first. Yeah, that's it. And we can move in together, and then we'll get married. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, how long after you move in do we have to live together before you decide you've seen what you need to see? Six years. Oh, yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait a second. Look, honey. I, I, I don't know. Uh, short time. Not long. Okay. 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 Now what? Now you put your pants on. Joan, what's bothering you? What do you mean? I mean, you've been so moody lately. Did you have to wear that tie? My tie? Is my tie you've been moody because of my tie? Why'd you have to wear that tie tonight? You know, I hate that tie. It's ugly. I like this tie. This tie makes a statement. Yeah, it says you're a geek. Why can't you wear things that I like? I'm the one that has to look at you. I'm a designer. I know what works. That's right. You're a designer. What do you design? Inexpensive fashions for full-figured women. You design cheap knockoffs for fat chicks. Some designer. I dressed this way when we met. You liked it then? No, I didn't. I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. I see what the problem is. You don't like me anymore. You don't like the way I dress. You don't like my hairstyle, my personality, my manners. What's left? Oh, I know. You like the way I do my nails. I'm a terrific nail trimmer. You're angry at me because of last night. What? Last night, when we tried to make love, you got upset when I asked you to touch me differently. That's ridiculous. No, it isn't. You got very quiet, like I insulted you. You used to like the way I touched you. I still do, but now I'd like you to touch me softer. You used to tell me harder, harder. Well, now I'd like softer, softer. Well, maybe you better wear a little sign around your neck. Harder, softer, then I wouldn't have to guess. Maybe if you were more sensitive. Sensitive? God damn it! Will you don't stop? Don't raise your voice! I'm sorry, I get mad, my voice crazy. I don't want people to hear us fighting. People? John, this is our house! I don't care about people! Hey, listen, everybody! Will you I'm please fighting be with quiet. my wife about sex! Please be she quiet! She likes it soft, I like it hard, fuck okay? You, fuck you, fuck you. I've been reading Spicer and um, I'm allowing my inner child to really blossom sexually. Good. But I'm worried. About what? What if my inner mother finds out? You just have your inner father confront her and tell her it's none of her business. Hi. Hi. Oh, 
It's so good to see you. You look fabulous. How you doing? Good. You're wearing your birthday present. Excuse me. Okay. Listen, I'm going to introduce you to somebody, okay? Okay? Sure. Come over here. Then we decided to sit down and discuss the details of our sex life. The conversation lasted about 10 seconds. Good luck. Dr. Columbus, would you mind if I ask you a question? I'm having a problem with... Depression. Keeping it up. Insomnia. Premature ejaculation. Vaginal dryness. What should I do? Are you... Are, are you... Are you that... Are you that famous actor? Is Oh, I love this guy. Are you Jack? No. You see, before I got married... My wife only pretended to like sex. Then we got married, and she stopped pretending. So we're in the middle of this meditation. This guy starts shaking, and this sound just sort of starts emanating from him. I'm sorry, go on. Michael, I don't think you've met Rachel. Michael Columbus, my good friend Rachel Parsons. <laughs> Rachel is just demonstrating something that happened in this meditation group. She's um, studying to be a rebirthing counselor. Rebirthing? What's that? It wouldn't interest you. Yes, it would. All matters of the mind interest me. What is it? No, uh, you, you wouldn't be interested in this. Oh, come on. It's a form of meditation that enables you to experience trauma in your life. By experiencing the past in the present, you're able to release the future. In other words, you're reborn. Being born once was enough for me. Hey, you guys hungry? We have some licorice nibs up there on the table you know, if you're interested. I don't understand why you wouldn't want to try something different. It sounds like another quick fix, cure all, pop psychology flavor of the month. That's what I have against it. I've seen patients come back from these fad therapies as high as a kite. And a month later, they're right back in my office. Nothing's changed, except they're out a substantial amount of cash. Have you mingled yet, Michael? Oh, as psychologists, I mean, those saviors, they're giving away therapy for free now. I mean, is that it? As far as I'm concerned, you might as well try voodoo. Oh, I did. I was in conventional therapy for a year. In fact, my therapist was a lot like you. Narrow-minded, pig-headed, and preoccupied with sex. Interesting woman. Well, I believe in complete honesty in relationships. Complete? It's not realistic. Why not? Look, she's single, right? Oh, she's not married. <laughs> I'm not saying that you have to lie. I'm just saying that there's a way of doing things. You know, you discreet. No, wait a second. I, I was in love with this guy. He was having an affair with somebody. And I found out about it. I was devastated. I don't want that to ever happen oh, yeah. again. Oh, yeah, but that was different. That was having an affair. Affairs will kill your marriage. What if he had a one-night fling and you'd never find out about it anyway? I mean, it's over. Would you still want him to tell you? Absolutely. I've never cheated. And I hope Carl hasn't either. But if he has and it's over, I don't want to know about it. I don't believe you should say anything either. That's why I've been dishonest with my husband. In fact, I've been dishonest in all my relationships. Oh, yeah. really? Well, all but one. But that didn't last too long. A week. <laughs> oh, terrible. It's kept my marriage together. Well, maybe you shouldn't be together. It's, it's not that simple, Rachel. I mean, I cheated on my husband once. I was on this business trip in Houston. And, you know, you have a couple drinks and... One thing leads to another, and I mean... You know, I, this is amazing. I mean, this is really awful. I'm not proud of what I did, okay? But it only happened once, and it's not going to happen again. You know. But if I told John about this, I think it would ruin my marriage. Or at least cause no, permanent maybe. damage. No, now, wait damage. a second. What, maybe it would make your marriage better. Maybe, maybe not. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't know if I believe in this complete honesty thing either. <gasps> no! Not the no. queen, not no. my idol. No, no, I mean, I do believe in it for.
from a philosophical point of view. But come on, the reality is nobody's really honest. Uh -uh. I'm leaving. You guys, I'm never coming back. I'm never talking to you guys about this. Are you forgetting why we're here, Michael? Wednesday night was very special for me. Michael, mm. stop it. Stop it. Somebody might come in. I don't care. Well, I do. Well, making love to you has changed my life. You have changed my life. I think we have something very special happening. And I just wanted to tell you that I, I love you. Michael, my, wait, wait, sweetheart, wait, wait, look. Things have changed between me and Doug. We've decided that we're going to live together. So we can't do what we did anymore. What are you talking about? What happened between us was wonderful, but I want to resume this relationship on a strictly professional basis. <laughs> I feel sick here. I feel sick and used. I feel like you just used me. You just used me for my body. That's not true. At least let me have my fantasy. Michael, I'm sorry, but we're always going to be the best of friends. I spare me. I hear enough of that bullshit from my patients. It's not bullshit. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, why didn't you tell me this before? Well, because I didn't know about it before. Besides, you're the one who's always saying you have to deal with the here and now. Well, this is the here and now, and you're not dealing with it. I'm dealing with the here and now, and here and now you're a bitch. Michael, look around, all right? This party, it's for your book. I'm doing everything in my power to make you successful. Oh, thank you. I feel very successful now. Michael, you're not going to do anything stupid, are you? No. Uh, excuse me, but aren't you that, that actor? Oh, God, I love him. Um, Jack. Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, you know, kids are amazing. They turn your house into a minefield, your sex life into a graveyard, they drain your bank account, and then if you're lucky, after 20 years, they move out. They leave you old, miserable, and broke. And you don't like kids? No, actually, I'm crazy about them. You're weird, Carl. <laughs> everybody for coming out tonight to celebrate the completion of talking about sex <laughs> we have plenty of complimentary copies for those of you who are too cheap to buy one <laughs> no seriously though we have plenty of copies and michael here will be more than happy to autograph them for you no i won't <laughs> i'd like to say something to all of you we have another reason to celebrate tonight I'd like to be the first to congratulate Andy and her boyfriend, Doug, on their engagement. It's hectic. It was just like really, really good. Do you remember my 87 sedan? Oh, I had to dump it. It just caused me too many problems. Between the lights and the oil leak. Why didn't you call me? You're supposed to call me when you're going to be late. And you're always late and you didn't call me. Don't touch me. I am not in the mood, okay? And would you stop drinking so much? Everyone's going to think I'm married to an alcoholic, all right? And oh, I hate the way you breathe. Lower your voice, okay? You're, oh, God, you're really getting on my nerves. Why do you think you're so smart? You don't know everything, all right? And those jokes of yours are stupid. Don't touch me. I'm not in the mood, all right? I'm on my period. And one more thing, okay? You're going to have to start earning some more money, all right? Because I cannot live off these peanuts anymore. And you know something else? These children are yours, too. Hello, I did not make them by myself. But don't touch me, okay? I'm on my period. I have a headache. I'm tired. You don't turn me on. So I traded in my car for a brand new 4x4. Doug, are you all right? 
it's apparent to me that you're obviously the most beautiful, attractive, intelligent woman at this party. I'm a lesbian. It doesn't bother me if it doesn't bother you. Marriage is a big commitment, young fella. A real struggle all the way. It's a struggle. But if you give it all you got, all your love, strength, and courage, you'll get through the bad times. You get through. And uh, good sex helps. Oh, it helps. Yes, it does. It helps a lot. Oh, a real lot. <laughs> Thank you. You too are an inspiration. You really made me feel a lot better. How long have you actually been married? Married? Uh, we're not married. I've never seen this man before tonight. Well, we never met before. My name's Emma. What's yours? Norman. You get engaged and break my grandson's heart. Matthew told me he finds you very attractive. Oh, I find him very attractive too, Lou. Who are you kidding? He's a hunk. You know, he told me he's crazy about you. Really? He hasn't said three words to me. Well, he's not a talker. He's a doer. Lou, I'm with Doug. Well, please don't misunderstand me. I'd like to say congratulations. You'll be very happy. But you won't, so I won't say it. Mingle. Mingle, Lou. You're never going to be able to fuck her. You're never going to be able to fuck her. I won't even fuck her. You're never going to be able to fuck her. Will you shut up? Okay, oral sex. Who's going to fuck her? Oh, I have another time. <laughs> Lingus time. Lingus time. Yeah, well, that's just not his thing. He just no. I'm embarrassed to admit, but no, he won't do it. With you, with, with it's not just you, but he's just. Oh God, good. I hope not. It's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> I think in general, he just he won't talk about it. I mean, I've asked him. You know, do you think it's dirty? Do you yeah. think it's gross? You know, you what, what's bad, the problem? He will not talk about it. He will not talk about it. He just won't. Do it. Do, do you it. perform oral sex with him? Mm. Well, I do. I guess I should stop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't stop. No, 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 just, I mean, because it's not really, it's really not fair. I mean, it's really not fair. Yeah. You need to really work through this, though, because it's a big, it, if, if she really likes it a lot, it's, it's an real issue. selfish. It really it's an, an issue. issue. I mean, I don't know. Stay with the guy. Well, I mean, Like what? A warning label? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Lou likes it. It's terrible. Honey, could you pass me that basket up there? Sure. What's with you? Get mighty emotional over a bowl of dip. Are you hiding out now? I had to get out of there. Everyone's uh, talking about sex. Ooh, sounds like fun. Yeah, one guy told me that his his wife pretends to like having sex with him. Well, how does he know she's pretending? That's just it, he doesn't. Uh, you know, a, a woman could pretend and a man would never know, right? I guess so. Honey, pass me those grapes, okay? Do you? Do I what? Do you pretend to like having sex with me? Where were you this morning? That was me in bed with you, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't pretending. You don't ever fake orgasms. Do you? No, the orgasms are real, I fake the erections. Come on, answer my questions, Andy. No, I don't fake orgasms. I don't always have them, but I don't fake them. What do you mean you don't always have them? Well, most women don't. It's no big deal. Wait, wait, wait. you never told me. Because it's not important, babe. You're not having orgasms with me, and it's not important? Well, honey, I have plenty of orgasms with you. What else? Doug, this is not what the else? time. Come on. This is not what the else? time. I don't want to get into this right now. Okay. It would be nice if we could have just a little more variety to our sex life. 
You keep bringing that up like it was like it was some kind of big deal or something. I mean, what is wrong with you? You've been strange ever since I came. What was the idea of that announcement? I didn't know Michael was going to do that. I told him that we were going to live together. Out of the blue, he runs and he makes this announcement. I was just as surprised as you were. I didn't want to be engaged. I wanted to live together first, and then we'd see how this thing went. So what do you want me to do now? Do you want me to announce a retraction? Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of Kiwi. And by the way, Doug and I aren't engaged. I don't know if I ever want to get married. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What? Everything was fine a minute ago. Now Michael makes a social error? And you're telling me that you want out? I'm sorry. This whole thing just happened a little too suddenly, and I feel pressure. I just need some time to think it over. No, no, you don't need time, Doug. You know what your problem is? You're just terrified of commitment. Bullshit. I've been putting up with you for a year, a year of your temper and your smoking and your reading in bed until two in the morning. That's like a hundred years with a normal woman. That's commitment. Well, nobody was holding a gun to your head, okay? If you didn't want to live with me, you should have never said so. I'm saying so now. I don't want to get married. I don't want to live with you. I'm just not ready. Okay, well, okay? Fine, fine, fine. I don't want to get married to you, okay? Fine. I don't even want to see your ugly face again, okay? Asshole. Caught my girlfriend cheating with this other guy. I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Good. Doc, Doc, get over here. Hey, this talking about sex thing, do you do it before you fuck him or after? Well, I don't think you should talk about sex with girls. Only with other guys. What do you think? Pardon me, gentlemen. I'm going to re-enter the 20th century. Michael. Hey. Doug. How you doing? I'm <laughs> not good. <laughs> I just discovered some information, and I need to talk to you. Sure. Sure. Great book. Have you read it? No, but it's a great cover. Yeah. Of course I read it. I paid for the thing. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, I'm just not thinking tonight. <laughs> you and Andy work together, huh? Yeah, for, for about a year. We did a lot of research together. I did the research and then the writing. She did the editing. You know the chapters where you discuss sexual preference and you say that you should just come out and say, uh, uh, I want to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, what if the other person doesn't want to blah, blah, blah. Then you work it out. If you don't want to uh, blah, 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 then you come to some compromise and you don't get your blah, blah. <laughs> I see. Or you terminate the relationship. What is it, um, what is it? saying there about oral sex fellatio or cunnilingus um the one the uh, yeah the man does to the woman cunnilingus yeah it's illegal in 14 states no shit yeah some states consider it the same as having sexual intercourse with a chicken but <laughs> but actually it's a perfectly healthy sexual variation it just depends on what the person prefers. It's all in the book. Okay. Chapter 9. Thanks. Are you still here? Bastard. What happened? I told him he's a great lover. Well, that's good. I mean, I didn't always come. Who does? Men. I thought he knew. We're not machines. We're not men. You know, I never really had a great lover. I had a couple of good ones. A lot of halfway decent ones. An above average one once, but I'm never a great one. This fucking ego. All oh, their fucking egos. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, I'm pregnant. Congratulations. What are you crying about? I don't want it. Why not? I just can't have a baby right now. Then when? 
You're 38 years old. This could be your last chance. I thought you told me you were 32. Thanks. I have a spring line coming out in two weeks. This is terrible. A husband who doesn't like me. I'm constantly nauseous. And your idea of support is telling me I'm getting old. I'm sorry. Does Carl know? No. He's always wanted a baby. I don't know how to tell him. You have to tell him. Andy, would you talk to him? Would I? Now, how do I fit into the equation? You could soften him up a little bit before I no, tell Joan, him. No, Joan, don't get me involved please, in this. Please, Andy, please. All right. Okay. I'll talk to Carl. Thank you. I'll talk Thank to him. You. I love you, too. So, what are you going to do about Doug? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything about Doug. It's over. I just use my fingers to masturbate or a hairbrush. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I just I use my fingers or my shower head. Your shower head? What do you do? Stand on stand on your head? And take a shower? Oh, I have one of those like you know the pulsating, the handheld pulsating things. Yeah. <laughs> you're nice and clean. I use the vibrator or my fingers. Yeah, but don't you think the vibrator makes you numb? Yeah, there's no question about that. That's why I went to my fingers. Yeah, see, me too. Right. See, I used to use the vibrator, but then I threw it away. Yeah. After I burned out the motor. Men's <laughs> <laughs> fears are well placed. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys ever masturbate in front of men? I do. Yeah. My husband loves it. It really turns him on. My boyfriend's so lazy, he prefers it that way. Uh, do you masturbate like in front of your boyfriend? No, mm -mm, I don't. Oh, wow. But I think I will after today, though. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, what's the matter? If you had to have sex with either a really, really plain woman or a really, really beautiful man, which would you choose? And take your time. What were you ladies doing out there on the porch? Having an all-girl rebirthing? Hands off, Freud. Maybe we all can do one later, huh? <sighs> what a jerk. What a pompous moron. Me? No, Doug, it's not you. It's men. What about them? The ones I like don't like me. The ones I don't like won't leave me alone. What are you reading? The book. Mm. Some guy giving you a hard time? Oh, well, they all do. I mean, I just don't understand why I can't meet nice guys. I mean, you're nice. I just don't meet any nice guys. Most guys I meet just want to fuck me. I mean, you wouldn't want to just fuck me, would you? No. No. Why not? What's wrong with me? Nothing, really. Actually, uh, I find you very attractive. Thank you. So, do you notice anything different about me? Oh, you got your breasts done. Wow. Do you like them? Yes, I, I do. I, I love them. <clears throat> I love them. The, the surgeon did a really good job. Yeah. He really did. Yeah. Go ahead, feel them. Okay. Firm. <laughs> Feels firm. Oh, um, I also got a tummy tuck. I had this little pooch here. What do you think? Good pooch job. I, I like you poochless. Oh, and I got some baby fat sucked out of here. Good idea. So, do you think I did the right thing?
I think you are one of the prettiest women I have ever met. I've never had an orgasm. <laughs> what? I think I came close once. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm not an expert at this or anything, but whenever I do it to myself, I... I've never missed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just kind of takes the pressure right off. You're nice. I want you to know I'm only doing this for the project. Well, that's fine. Carl will be here any minute now. I don't like you right now. Well, that's fine, too. God, you just seem so nervous and stiff. Loosen up. I'm not nervous. What has happened to this suit? It is just full of lint. What did you do, climb up under a bed or something? No, it's a custom-made lint suit. I find that a suit full of lint gives women an irresistible urge to touch me all over. I'm a little nervous. Well, if it's any consolation, so am I. But just be yourself, okay? And give him the impression that you're willing to work with him. And no matter what happens, I don't care what he says, do not lose your temper. I just want to maintain the integrity of the book. Okay, well, the book is fine. Just focus on the video. Hey, Carl. Michael. Carl. I heard you on that radio show today. Oh, what'd you think? That guy really makes people sound like idiots, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. So how are you enjoying the party? Oh, lovely. Lovely. Charming party. Thank you. So, Michael, how's my wife's therapy with you going? Talking about sex? Oh, I'm not at liberty to discuss your wife's therapy. That, that's privileged information. It's a joke. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 so what do you think of the book? I like the cover. The, the cover? Yes, that's right. Well, we thought that a vanity printing would really help publicize the book. Smart. And you did a terrific job as usual, Andy. <laughs> I always said you could make a moron sound good. So, what can I do for you? We feel like a videotape demonstrating Michael's technique would really make this project unique. Uh, the public would get to see the step-by-step -step process by watching a self-help therapy group in action. And the videotape would correspond to the text. Now, we've already shot a demo, but it, it's really kind of rough. There are some problems. Pro problems? What, what kind of problems? Well, first off, the book is so technical. The only people that are going to buy this book are doctors. Strike that. Horny doctors. Is that so? I might be interested in the project, but uh, you're going to have to be willing to make some changes in the book. Oh, that's fine. Right, Michael? Change it. What, what type of changes do you suggest? Pictures. Pictures? Pictures? Color pictures. Lots of them. Public eats that up. Pictures with uh, plastic on the top. You know, like in biology class where the clothes come off as the plastic comes off. 
why not pop-up pictures? Good idea, Michael. Pop-up pictures. Pop-up color pictures. I love wait, it. Wait, 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 um, wait. And the title has got to go. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I, I agree with you about right. that. I, yeah. I was telling Andy that the current title wasn't yeah. serious enough. You're uh, right. He, he told me that. Um, what's wrong with the title? Well, it's not provocative enough. So what would you suggest? Well, instead of talking about sex, how about having sex? Having sex with your therapist. Even better, Look, having adult sex. But I know there are serious people. Why are you trying to do it? I wouldn't help you. Excuse me. I wouldn't help you with an ass. I wanted to use the bathroom. I tried the one upstairs. I really did. First, Doug goes up. Then Rachel goes up. I wait. Nobody comes down. So I go up and the door is locked. So I came in here. Sorry to interrupt. I'll go over to my place. M Michael, leave us alone for a minute, please. Why should I leave? Michael. Now, Carl, what was all that about? Andy, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to hear that. That low life is having an affair with Joan. Oh, shit. Uh, Carl, my office is out back, all right? Meet me there in 10 minutes. Please. to admit I love to give a guy a head that's almost more than I like getting it myself like there are guys I could just look at them and not want to fuck them but I just want to suck their dick I know that sounds like really weird I don't know what it is like standing a guy up and you on your knees and there used to be this one guy I'd go out with and I'd stand him in front of my mirror so I could like look at his butt while I'm giving him a head I don't know so I like it I can't, I can't enjoy the receiving if I'm giving because I'm trying to focus on that to make him feel good. If it comes back to me, then I can do one or the other, but not both. Yeah. <laughs> Mingo. Mingo. Andy? I went for a walk and I've been thinking... What the hell? I can't believe you would do that to me. Do what? Don't play stupid, you and Rachel. Nothing happened. We were together, we talked. That's I all. I heard you. Upstairs, in the shower? Are you crazy? I wasn't in the shower. I didn't do Rachel. What did I hear? Okay, so we kissed. It happens. She's very attractive. But that's it. Okay, so she took her clothes off to show me her new boob job. But she was insecure. It was, it was clinical. Then I left. Did they do a good job? Uh, actually, yeah, it wasn't bad. Oh, shit. I used to have really um, good orgasms. And then I had this partial hysterectomy because I had fibroids. So they had to take my uterus. And since then, I haven't had 
I haven't had a good orgasm. <laughs> I haven't talked about this to anyone. I was always really free sexually and really relaxed. And I don't know. And the doctor didn't tell me that it makes a difference when you come. I used to come really good. <laughs> Well, it looks like the party's beginning to loosen up. <laughs> you could say that. Drink? No, thanks. I don't drink. Me neither. <laughs> You're a very attractive man. Well, thank you. Do you have a girlfriend? No. A wife? No. You want one? You're funny. <laughs> Hey, good book. Mm, very. Does it say anything in there about your best best friends fucking your boyfriend? Well, let's see. <laughs> teasing. I know. <laughs> I was teasing. Drink? What are you drinking? It's just an after dinner drink. It looks like you've had five dinners. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> You find me attractive? Yes, very. That's a loose set. Do you think I'm pushy? No. Good. Would you go down on me? <laughs> I think you've had just a little too much to drink. How <laughs> come nobody wants to go down on me? It's a nice book. Thank you. Have you read it? I mean the picture. This is a nice picture. You look better in the picture than you do in person. Thank you. Oh. Andy, oh. come on, wake up. God. If you sleep now, you'll wake up with oh. a hangover. Come on, get up. You'll feel better. Ooh. Come on. Come on, get up. You'll feel better. Come on. Oh. 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 I really think you ought to have a physical done first. And then if everything is normal, I don't see any reason in the world why older people can't have as much sex as they desire. Uh, like I always tell my patients, use it or lose it. Excuse me. Uh, one more thing. You didn't by any chance see my grandson, Matthew. No, no. Uh, how about Andy? No. Sure is a shame about her breaking up with her boyfriend. I mean her fiance. Wait, 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 wait. They broke up? Pretty sexy, huh? Uh, did I say anything crazy? Or do anything? <laughs> you propositioned me. That's not so crazy. Did you accept? I prefer my lovers to be conscious. God, I'm sorry. I'm just having like major boyfriend problems. Dump bum. <laughs> That's a good Lou. I wish I could be more like him. I mean, he makes life so simple. He just says exactly what's on his mind. He's been trying to get us together for some time now. I know. Well, how come you never made a move? What are you, gay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, That's funny. No, I'm serious. I am. <laughs> really? Really. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I'm Don't sorry. Don't be sorry. Well, I'm not sorry you're gay. I'm sorry that I didn't know. How would you know? Well, because I should be able to... Well, I, if, if you... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm confused here. Does Lou know this? No. You gotta tell him. You know Lou, set in his ways. I'm the only family that he has. You should tell him. Andy, I can't. It would kill him. No. Lou's a lot stronger than you think. Tell him. <laughs> Damn. You really are a hunk. Did you talk to him? Oh, shit. Andy, Andy, Andy. 
I, I heard about you and Doug. Like I bet you did. Andy, marry me. I mean it. Michael, I'm not in love with you. Well, it's not necessary. It's not important that you don't love me right now. Michael. Andy, Andy, I treat couples every day who get married for love, and they're miserable. Marriage is too important to be based on love. Michael, that's ridiculous. No, it's not. No, our relationship would be different. It'd be based on compatibility and mutual respect. And it's not like we're not attracted to each other. And if you wanted to fall in love, we could fall in love later. So now you're saying you're not in love with me? No, no, no. I just wouldn't let that interfere with our relationship. Michael, you know what? I think that you're more in love with the fantasy of this relationship than what it actually is. Then I'd rather end our relationship entirely. And I don't ever want to work with you again. Well, what do you mean by that? You're fired! You can't fire me! Well, I believe in completing the good. Some? I'm sorry I'm late. Doesn't matter a year now. Can I get you some drink? No. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Carl, I need to talk to you about something. Joan's pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. How do you know? She sent me a postcard. What do you mean, how do I know? She told me. <laughs> My God, we're going to have a baby. Carl, she doesn't want to have the baby. It isn't mine. Of course it's yours. It's a reasonable question. I know she's having an affair with Michael. She's not having an affair with Michael. How do you know? I'm having an affair with Michael. You're having an affair with Michael. I had an affair. It's not even an affair. It was just one night. It's, it's over. That bastard really gets around. What is happening to us? I love Doug and I sleep with Michael. Doug loves me, or so he says he does, and then the first opportunity he gets, he screws my best friend. And you and Joan, the perfect couple, you guys can't talk about something that's like the most important decision of your lives? Rachel's right. Just stay single. So, you're having an affair with Michael? Had. It's over. Andy. The video concept, that's a great idea. It's unique. I want to get behind it. Bring Michael by on uh, Monday. We'll work it out. Great. Thanks. Yeah. I used to play with my brother in the yard. We tossed the football around. We just had to be careful because we knew my mother and her garden. She she loved her garden, and that seemed to come first. I mean, more important than children, more important than, than us. And uh, I remember a time when um, when I had been playing with my... Um, brother outside and we don't remember doing it but at some point we must have hit one of her bushes with the football or something we don't even remember she came walking into the house later on with this twig a twig saying who broke this who, who broke this branch? So she went and got her belt and beat the shit out of us. I'm afraid because I have a temper too. I don't want to have a child and put them through that. I do not want to put them through that. And I'm... <laughs> what is this? The public library? This is a party. Why aren't you mingling? Grandpa, I have to talk to you. Me? Okay. Talk. Sometimes it's hard to tell something to someone you love because you don't want to hurt them. Yes. So you don't tell them and because you don't... Get that. I'm gay. In what way? I'm homosexual. How do you know that? I've known since I was eight. You were gay in the second grade? I didn't have sex, but... 
I just knew. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this is who I am. I am not pleased to hear this. I know. I'm very upset. I know. You hungry? No. Me neither. I lost my appetite. Where are you going? To the bathroom. Why? To powder my nose. What the hell do you think? I gotta take a pee. I cannot believe I can't get into this fucking bathroom all night. It's open. And it's empty. It's a miracle. Oh. Grandpa? Indigestion. Thank God. Oh. They're taking him over to the hospital overnight as a precaution, so I'm going to go next door and get a few of his things. Okay, good idea. Take it easy, boys. Don't hurt the merchandise. Are you okay, Lou? Do I look like I'm okay? Well, you gave us a scare there, you know? Oh, this is why I prefer to pay for food. You never eat too much. I changed my opinion about Doug. He's not as bad as I thought. Don't dump him. Thanks, Lou. Is Matthew coming to the hospital? Yeah, he's getting some of your things. Oh. Lose that hickama dip. Oh. A paramedic with an earring. I need this. Candy? I just had the biggest orgasm of my entire life. I, I mean, it was my only orgasm, but it was big. And you know something? I had this realization. It isn't about vibrators or shower heads. It's about just letting go. Just just letting go and, and enjoying your body. I know that you were upstairs fucking Doug. You do? Yeah, I do. But we didn't. I mean, I mean we couldn't. I mean, I, I mean we, we kissed and he touched my breasts, but I mean, nothing happened. We, we couldn't do anything because of you. Oh, I'm so touched. Wait, wait a minute. I mean, you're the one who broke up with him. Yeah, five minutes ago. There's a mourning period that friends are supposed to respect, okay? Well, I mean, nothing happened. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. You're just a piece of shit. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. Oh, have you? You were rude to me earlier. Is that so? Yeah, I'm tired of taking garbage from men like you. You're a creep. Sorry. How do you open this fucking thing? I can get rid of your headache. How? A rebirthing. Oh, please, give me the aspirin. Let's do it, Michael. What? Let's get everybody who's left and do it. I want you to concentrate and commit to being relaxed. <coughs> and let the tension of the day out. Just forget everything and be here now. Nothing's happening yet. While you're breathing, don't be afraid to make noise. <sighs> let the tension out with the noise. Feel a white light surrounding you. And while you feel this, think back to when you were 20. I got my first blow job. <laughs> if you're experiencing laughter, let it be. Now that you're all relaxed and your burdens have been lifted and you're at peace with yourself, I want you to think of a special person. Someone who had an effect in your life. Feel those feelings. Let them come up to the surface and release them. <laughs> release them into the universe. <laughs> Let it go. Michael, are you okay? Dad. <laughs> Daddy. I'm so sorry, Dad. It's okay. I'm just going through.
Do something. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. I'm sorry. I just... I just started thinking about my father. I never told my father that I... that I loved him before he passed away. Tell him. Look, maybe we should... Andy, right here, Rachel. use Doug as your father. And tell him. Let's try it. Okay. Daddy, I'm so sorry. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I love you too. I love you so much. I miss you, Daddy. I miss you. It's all right. It's all right. I love you too. It's all right. It's all right. That's it. You okay? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. God. God. God, that is that is wild. I never I never felt anything like that before. I was so moved. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like a load has been lifted. <laughs> I feel... I just... <laughs> God, I, I, I just... I just feel. <laughs> God, Rachel, it's amazing. Yeah. God, Rachel, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Andy... Andy, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I put you through tonight. I, I was just jealous after making love to you. What? Oh. Doug. Doug, I apologize. I have to tell you this. I had an affair with Andy. I know you love her, but I love her too. And I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, Doug. What are you doing? You pig. Get out of here. Who are you calling? Hey, I can, I can handle it. No, no problem. No problem. Come on. Right. Blood. Oh, God, there's blood. Hey, somebody do something here. I'm bleeding. No, we'll just put a little ice on it. You'll be fine. Oh, okay. I, I don't have a problem with the sight of blood. It's just the sight of my own blood that bothers me. You know, that's the first time in my life I've ever been in a real fist fight. Well, I wouldn't call getting hit in the mouth a fist fight. <laughs> um, if you put this on, we'll probably stop the swelling. Okay, doctor. <laughs> I'm sorry this happened. No, oh no, 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 it was great. It was great. I haven't cried like that since I was a, a baby in my mother's arms. It was terrific. That's great. You, you know, Freud said that all men feel subconsciously guilty because they want to have sex with their mothers. What do you think? Well, I, I think that most men want to understand women, but they don't know how to except by having sex with them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go to breakfast? Sure. Great. Great. You know, you have a beautiful smile. I just have my teeth capped. I shouldn't have hit him. He'll be all right anyway. He deserved it. Where is everybody? It's six o'clock in the morning. That's right. You look great for six in the morning. Do you mean that? If you were single, I'd throw you down on, on the sand right here. <laughs> I just might be real soon. Yeah, me too. Let's go back. Come on. I hate sand in my shoes. The beach looks great. Yeah, other than the broken glass, the cigarette butts, and the used syringes, it looks great. Oh, Christ, what stinks? <laughs> the ocean. Remember when the ocean used to smell like water?
I don't think I want to be married to you anymore. You want to be married to somebody else? No. I don't want to be married to anyone. You having an affair with Michael? Don't be ridiculous. Whatever gave you that idea? You spent so much time with him, I thought... I've been trying to figure out what to do about us. Carl, I'm pregnant. I know. I don't want the baby. Back there in the rebirthing, I had a dream. It's an amazing coincidence. I had a dream we had children. In fact, one of them was a little girl. Like you. She was pretty and very smart. I loved her a lot. I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's your body, your decision. But can we at least keep an open mind to our options at this point in our lives? Let's go home. What do you want? Grab my things before I leave. Well, get your shit and get out. Oh, great. Just great. You're angry at me. All this talk of marriage and commitment. And you're having an affair behind my back. Best of all, you take my money to screw him. We didn't have a monogamy pact, okay? We weren't living together, we weren't married, and we both agreed we could go out with other people. Go out, man, go have lunch! Were you having lunch with Rachel? Don't take that. Don't take that, you gave that to me, all right? Don't be a cheat and a cheapskate in the same breath. was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. But I just wanted to hurt you. Because I, cause I knew that you were the one and you didn't know it about me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want you to know that before you left. <laughs> thinking about a lot of things tonight and one of the things I thought about was if I lost you I tried to imagine what tomorrow would be like if I didn't have you anymore I didn't like it I don't know if I can be everything you want me to be all I know is that I can't imagine not having you in my life anymore you are the most beautiful woman I have ever known. And I love you more than I have loved anyone ever. I need you. And I know that this is true. You're not making this up. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not that smart. Wait a second. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm about to commit a felony in 14 states.
Hey, hey. 